hey everybody welcome back to another video and in today's video we will make a pull request for hacktoberfest 2021 and this is going to be really really awesome so i have found a few repositories that you can see up there where i am going to make a pull request uh, i'm going to make a pull i'm going to show you how to make a pull request on one of them but you can choose any of them i'll put the links in the description below so if you check on the hacktoberfest profile right over here you will see that uh, mine my pull requests are seven in progress that means seven have been approved and the others might have been like uh, pull request not accepted this one and this one projects not participating and this one matures in 11 days and this one is not accepted yet so that is the thing and so you can check your own contributions here on this website so once you have done that let me show you a bunch of projects so first of all this one i did show you this in my previous video if you haven't checked that out check that out it will be on the link above so it's hack to Buffest project it's a website that lets you find eligible hack to Buffest projects uh, for you to contribute so you can go ahead and select your own language and then you can choose whichever one you want you can sort them according to your preference and you can even search now so that's what you can do so you can even contribute to this one this is open for hacktoberfest then this one weekly web dev challenge poll by scrimba if you don't know scrimba is a really really great website for learning programming and mostly web development mainly web development and and on scrimba you can do a lot of things they have a code editor built into their website which is really great so you can check this one out hack happy hacktoberfest with screamba and whatever tasks they give you can make a pull request to their repository as well for to get it counted next up this is coding space from my friend rishi and he really made a really good website uh, is a platform where we aim to provide lots of different real-world UI based challenges that can help developers to improve their web and mobile development skills you can check this out I'll make a video on this one as well and you can contribute to this one finally I will be contributing on this app called Issure, and what it does is basically it fetches a random issue from a github repository to help you decide so basically you can check this out it it's also very very helpful now it's by harsh dev i will say harsh saying and he is a really really active person if you just even open his own profile on github you'll see his repositories a lot of his repositories are uh, just on another level his design and all that stuff is really great and if you check out git, uh, git shoes and then snip bin uh, many of these are labeled as hacktoberfest so so harsh has a lot of repositories a lot of projects which you can check out and you can contribute to those it's it's really like he has made a lot of projects and i really like that so you can check out his profile i'll put the link in the description below so let's get on to this project it's by it's made by it's made by using next.js which is the thing i use so to get started first things first you will need to fork this repository so to fork it you'll see a button right over here and then you should click on your profile if you get any pop like that and this repository is now forked so basically the repository by the repository was there but you forked it so basically you copied the repository onto your own profile and that's what you do and that's what the first thing is to contribute to any open source project once you have forked the repository what you can do is you can clone it to your own machine or open it in github code spaces if you want but i'm going to do it locally so let's copy this and in my desired folder i'm simply going to say git clone and then the link so make sure this link is your forked repository all right so now we can see it into issue issue and then let's open it up in visual studio code so that we can code however we want so if i get a pop-up like this yes i trust the authors and then let's open up the terminal 
and in the terminal i'll run the npm install not really npm but yarn command to install all the dependencies that we need so let's install those so whilst the dependencies are getting installed let's take a look at issuer right on live so if i was to take this repository definitely typed if you don't know it's a typescript it's a repository where typescript types uh, stay so for npm packages which don't have a type so i can copy the whole address or even the name of the you know this name over here but i'm going to copy the whole url and then put that and then fetch issue and then what it does is it goes on to that repository it fetches the issues and then picks out a random one and random issue which then it shows you which you can complete so right now as you can see it's good but yet it's slow it's kind of slow and also there is one thing that there is that we don't have a loader so a loading spinner while it's fetching the issue so the user most likely does not know what's going on so in that case we can add those things but for this video i'm going to keep it minimal so i'm going to keep the contribution minimal for now and then in the future i'm going to contribute a lot so if you were to take a look at the pages uh, if you were to take a look at the files so for example if i if i was to go to index.tsx and you can see we've got header and we've got search and footer so if i was to go into components and then search not really style but really search and right over here hopefully you can see we've got all the state we have got every single thing so what it does is it fetches the issues right inside of the react component and he's using next.js so we can make we can create a loader or something to indicate that hey your data is still being fetched and that is the way way to indicate that how do you do that so we have got all of our dependencies installed and now let's run yarn dev we don't really need to run that because we are going to make some minimal changes the first change i am going to make is basically adding a prettier config file so let me just add that's so dot prettier rc so this file is basically for prettier if you use prettier or if you don't even if you don't this file provides you provides a configuration for you know whenever you format the whole whenever you format the any file it basically follows this configuration so let's add a bunch of configurations so first things first i'm going to add arrow params to be a void because the arrow the print in arrow functions the parentheses i want to avoid them and then we've got single quote and let's set that to true and then we've got jsx oops so let's add jsx single code and let's set that to true and finally we'll add semi to false to not add semicolons all right so this is the configuration file if he wants to change it he will let me know in the pull request comments so once you've got that set up let's actually commit this now if you don't know about git and all that stuff you need to learn git before this one and it's very very easy so don't get frustrated over git so you can commit uh, so you, you will not you need to know about git so first of all let's commit this prettier rc file so to make a commit let's first of all add everything so git add dot to add everything so as you can see right over here the changes are staged now and then let's say git commit dash m and then let's say added prettier config file all right so now as you can see the commits have been made and you can sync changes so basically you can hit push right now so let's hit git push you can even use this button which is what i'm going to show you the next thing so right over here as you can see now the main branch is complete so if i should refresh this it's all right now let's make the other change and that is by that's a very very simple change so if you go to pages and then index.tsx as you can see this is typescript and i noticed one problem here that first things first we don't need react import and the second thing is using react.fc on a next page component is not kind of good so basically next.js provides their own component for next pages so i'm going to remove this import from react 
and then I'm going to go inside of this home and then I can say next page and then let's move this import to the top all right so the, as simple as that so we basically convert the type from react.fc to next page and let's go to the and let's go inside of the underscore document and right over here I noticed one thing is that we are using import react from react and if you know about react 17 you don't need this import anymore so everything is going to work and now to test it out let's go ahead and run yarn dev to test it out before we push the changes before we commit the changes so once it is up and running so as you can see the app is running very very fine even if i check the console even if i inspect and let's check the console it's just going to work fine so you won't see any error messages even if i was to use any of these definitely types so let's use this one now coding space by rishi Purwar. and let's just go ahead and fetch issue and as you can see it fetched the issue very quickly that's because the it has less issues than definitely typed so basically as you can see all of this is really nice working so we can push these changes so we can commit and push these changes so let's go ahead and this error is nothing so don't worry about that so basically we click the plus button to add everything with the git add command and then let's add an emoji so i'm going to say the emoji is for types so add or update type so let's just say remove react import and use next page type all right so that's the thing and let's commit these changes by control enter and then you can sync these changes very very easily so after pushing these changes you can easily you can quickly go to your repository your own version of the repository so right over here and reload the page you will see is what you will see is this branch is two commits ahead of the main branch of the parent branch so there are two ways you can go uh, the first way is by going ahead and contributing it right from here so you can open a pull request this is a really easy way but the other way that i really like is by opening a pull request right from vs code so if you have an extension installed so let's just go ahead and search for it pull request and this one github pull requests and issues this one is very very helpful for me so i don't need to go ahead and open the repository back again if i want to open up a pull request so what i can do is i can say command shift p so i can just search for create and then pull request as you can see create pull request comes up and let's hit enter and as you can see it shows us the changes so you can merge changes from this one to this one so let's go ahead and say so let's go ahead and add another emoji so let's say in the in the title of the br in the title of the pull request let's say prettier config file and types updated you can add a description if you want so let's hit create and that quickly easily creates the pull request to the main parent branch so if you were to go ahead on github let's go to the main repository and you can even view the pull request right over here as you can see it automatically opened it up in this mode i really like it and you can go to pull requests and as you can see the pull request is right over here now hush will go ahead and check this if he likes the pull request he will merge it if he wants any changes so he'll suggest any changes right over here in the comments and then i'll make those changes and then when this pull request gets merged it will be counted for hacktoberfest so i really hope you liked this video please share it with your friends please share it with one with the people who don't know how to make pull requests with github for hacktoberfest because they will learn something new and they will make they will learn something new by contributing to other great projects in the open source world. I hope you like it. Till the next time, goodbye.